Okay, guys, let's grab some dumbbells for the next bunch of exercises. Now, the other thing I want you guys to do is grab yourselves either a flat bench or a multi-fold mat um, to create some elevation for these exercises. Okay, guys, here's a good little challenge for you. So what we're going to do from here, I'm going to go into a wide squat or a sumo squat, if you like. So just out here. Okay, so basically I want to make sure my knees are right on top of my toes, knees are out like that, feet are staying parallel. I'm going to grab my dumbbells and from here, it's like a triceps push-up, but I'm standing while I'm doing it, so it's a vertical push-up, just like that. Okay, so because gravity is pushing down, this is really going to work your shoulders, it's going to work your arms as well. And just like that, straight pushes right in front of you, elbows tucked in and squeeze away. You can see I'm pumping these out. So you want to keep a good pace on these. Let's get you guys to try it. Okay, guys, we're going to work some concentration calls on this one, but we're just going to put a little bit of a different spin on it, okay? So I'm going to drop down into a wide squat or a sumo squat, if you like, here, okay? I'm going to use one hand for support and the other hand um, just holding the dumbbell. Now, I want my elbow just inside of my knee, um, just at the end of my adductors, basically, okay? So from here, I'm going to squeeze up and drop it back down, okay? So we're going to work one minute on this side and then I'm simply just going to switch hands, use the other one for support and work the other side. Now, a couple of things to note. So holding that sumo squat position, you want to make sure your knees are right out. We don't want to cave them in. You want to make sure they're out. So your quadriceps are doing quite a lot of work there as well. And then the other thing you want to make sure you do, so this arm's moving perpendicular to everything else, okay? So I'm not creating any funky angles. You want to make sure it's nice and perpendicular and straight up, just like that. Let's get you guys to try it. Hey okay guys, switch arms straight away, no rest, let's go.
Okay, guys, hold on to your dumbbells. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay guys, switch arms straight away, no rest, let's go. Okay guys, we're going to work an obliques tilt for this one, but we're going to do it a little bit different. So rather than doing it overhead, I'm going to grab a pair of dumbbells and I'm going to just lean them just up against um, pretty much my IT band just outside of my legs, just like that, right? And so from here, I'm just going to squeeze to one side. I want to try and get this arm past my knee and back to the middle. And then we're going to work the other side, squeeze and return it. Just like that. Now, I want to make sure I'm not pulling back, okay? Make sure you're pulling directly to the side. We don't want to put any excessive pressure in the back by pushing it backwards, okay? Just make sure the arms are soft, straight. Um, there's no need to make any movement with the arms at all. And it's just an oblique crunch to the side and returning it back to the center. Pretty simple. Let's get you guys to try it.
Okay, guys, I've got a good shoulders exercise for you. All right, so this one's a little bit unusual. I want you guys to watch. I'm just going to do it without dumbbells for a second, and then we'll do it with some dumbbells. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to essentially replicate the movement you would have if you're using a pec deck, okay? And once I get to this point, I'm going to squeeze and lift up right there, okay? So work the pec deck and then squeeze up right at the top. Now, if I was to incorporate some weights into it, this is how it looks. So from here, I'm just going to go open, close, lift. Open, close, lift. Just like that. It's quite a difficult exercise. You guys will have fun for a minute. Let's do it. Okay, guys, hold on to your dumbbells. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay, guys, we're going to do a modified version of a clean and jerk for this one, okay? So I'm going to start off, dumbbells in front of me, so it just looks like a nice long bar, feet are shoulder width, knees are always um, soft, so you've always got some protection in your back. I'm going to drop down, I'm going to grab the dumbbells from here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift, see right here, I'm going to step back into the jerk, 
And then I'm going to finish back here again, okay? Just where that your shoulder press would start. And then drop it back down, right there. Okay? We're going to go again. Ready? Watch. Okay? One minute. Let's get as many as of those in there as you can. Your turn. Okay, guys, we're going to work an isometric squat for this one, but we're going to put a little bit of a spin on it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go into that wide sumo squat stance, and I want to go crush grip with the dumbbell. So basically, I'm just holding it in the palm of my hand, locking my hands together and just squeezing like that, okay? I'm going to hold it out. So elbows are out, throw it up against my chest. I'm going to drop into that isometric squat, and I'm just going to hold it here. We're just holding for a minute. That's all we're doing. Your turn. Okay, guys, hold on to your dumbbells. We're going to repeat the last two exercises.
Okay, guys, we're going to work some traditional dumbbell pullovers with this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to hold an eyelet grip. So the way this works, if you're just watching my hands, it's just one hand um, sort of just inside that little thumb area. And we're going to hold up um, one end of the dumbbell just like that. So I'm going to get into position. I'm going to start from a vertical line and I'm going to take it back to a horizontal line right there and pull straight back up. Now I want to make sure my arms are soft straight the whole time and I'm pushing directly behind me right there and pulling back in. Now I'm stabilizing with both feet nice and equal and just working a 90 degree range. So we should be just going working 90 degrees, drop it back and send it straight back up. Watch your wrist when you do this exercise as well. Your turn. Okay guys, we're gonna work a twisting press for this next one. So I'm gonna show you how it goes. So we're gonna have a lie down. So very similar to a chest press. So just from there, but as I bring it up, I'm gonna twist and touch right there. Squeeze and return it. So basically I'm making sure as I drop down, you can see I'm holding 90 degree lines there. It's a perfect T, so that's what you wanna have. And when I press up, I'm gonna twist and squeeze. So what this does is it focuses a little bit more on the chest and on the lateral triceps as well. Okay, one more. Just like that. Your turn. Okay guys, hold on to your dumbbells. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises.
Okay, guys, lateral raise for this exercise. This is actually one of my favorite dumbbell exercises. Okay, what we're going to do from here, I'm going to set up nice neutral spine. I'm going to make sure I've got a nice sturdy um, seated position. If you're using a taller bench, keep your feet flat on the floor. Okay, what we're going to do from here, I'm going to lift with soft straight arms straight up to a T and straight back down. Now, a lot of people don't know how to do this exercise correctly. Now, watch me. So as I push up, my uh, little knuckle should be my highest point right there. Okay, because we want to hit right in the middle of the uh, medial delts and your brachialis as well. Okay, so from here, straight up and back down. We're going to make sure we don't bend the wrists either. Right there. Let's get you guys to try it. Okay, guys, we're going to work some double biceps curls for this one. I want you guys to watch how I want to do it. So you're going to start off palm to palm this way, okay? I'm going to push straight up in front of me, and as I come up, I'm going to twist 90 degrees. When you twist 90 degrees, that's when you're really getting into the peak of the biceps, okay? And then we're just going to return it nice and slow. So with my hands, with my weights uh, in place, I'm just going to go get that squeeze, get that twist, and return it nice and steady just like that. Okay, just making sure my elbows are not leaving my ribs, okay? So there's no forward push with the elbows. I'm just keeping them nice and stationary. Let's get you guys to try it. Alright guys, we're going to work some circular shrugs for this one. So, this is a relatively easy exercise. What you want to try and do, our arms are nice and straight, they're just hanging. My shoulders are nice and loose, okay? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift in a circle. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my shoulders as close to my ears as I can, okay? And just a nice circular, steady motion. Um, what you want to remember with this one, you want to make sure you're keeping your back nice and tight. And don't bend your elbows. There's none of there's none of that going on, okay? Elbows are staying nice and straight, and all the movement is coming from your traps and your rhomboids. It's not actually using your arms at all, okay? Your arms are simply there to hold onto the weights, that's all. Your turn.
Let's get ready to go again and repeat the last three exercises. Okay, guys, we're working some tucks for this one, but we're going to do it a little bit different, okay? I want you guys to watch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a dumbbell, and I'm going to basically place it on my thighs um, just above my knees. And I'm going to go into position. We're going to go nice and straight legs like that. I'm going to pull the tuck in, squeeze, and return it, okay? And so what this is doing is the dumbbell is just creating some extra resistance for me. So squeeze and return until you've got straight knees. Let's get you guys to try that one.
Okay, guys, this one's a little bit tricky, so I want you guys to watch out. So we're either gonna sort of watch our range if you're doing this on a bench, or if you need to do this on the floor, just get off your bench, um, lie down on the floor and do it from the floor. So these are some windscreen wipers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up, arms nice and straight, vertical, and then I'm gonna get my legs to match them up just like that. And all we're gonna do from here is we're gonna come out to one side just like that, and then squeeze back to the middle. So we're really focusing on the lower abs and working the obliques on this one. Just like that, squeeze, take it there. Now, you wanna make sure, particularly if you're um, doing this exercise on a bench, you wanna make sure you don't tip over, okay? If you wanna test your limits, um, I do recommend doing the exercise on the floor. Your turn. Well done for getting through your class today, guys. If you could turn your attention to your instructor for stretching and cool down.